James a chokehold on iron. Yeah, but you listen to Trevor Blanchard, he's yelling he's yelling into Black Iron that they're teaching him a lesson. What Indeed. lesson is to be taught around here? Black That's Trevor Blanchard. Trevor Blanchard needs oh, to be taught geez. a lesson. Look at this. Lee being oh. slammed under the leg of iron. He's already lipping on that leg. As your former comrades used to say, he's got a bad will, and I always thought it was you. Yeah. Black Iron has been awfully loopy, though, lately, Rick Lowe, going to, trying to get an autograph with PG-13 and an autograph and a photo from Scotty Tuhati recently. Well, he's just trying to be a fan. He's, you know, he's like everybody else. I mean, I was walking down the aisle earlier this afternoon, and he was tapping me on the back. I have, to, I have, I have a clue why. What did I do? Yeah. I don't know if he wanted to trade baseball cards or what. Still working away on the left leg. Oh! Justin James really going to town as he points to his head like he's thinking real smart. Oh, here we go. Baseball bat. That's Black Iron's weapon of choice. He's got that ball bat. That's a 32-ounce, 34-incher. Oh, right to the bed, knee. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Justin shoves into the turnbuckle. Iron with a roll-up. But there, there are no pinfalls. Yeah, but you think Trevor Blanchard would say something? He's a special wrestler. I think he's partial to Justin James. Indeed. Oh, look at this reverse atomic drop. Into the rope goes James. Big the big clothesline. And down goes Black Iron. Look at Trevor Blanchard getting in the face. You gotta kinda think here, Master J, it's two against one. Look at Justin James rolling Black Iron into the casket. Oh my goodness, he's in. James just has to close the lid now. That's right, the rules are James has got to close the lid. You got the Paul Bear right there, Robert Saber the third. Oh, geez, Black Miss! Right in the face! Right at Trevor Blanchard. Oh, left over missed in the face of Blanchard, looks like. Justin James blinded right now by Black Iron with that miss. Since he meant for a suplex, picks him up and over. Black Iron hanging on. Gonna go for another one, it looks like. Two was better than one. Oh, up and over. Waist lock. German suplex by Justin James, maintaining his grip, going for a second on Black Iron. Iron. Oh, turning things around here. Another reversal. James back in, big power slam. Look at Black Iron as he shoves Justin James over to the casket, throws him in there. Oh, Look at Trevor Blanchard Blanchard's hanging on to Iron, so preventing him from closing the lid. He's oh. ready to shove oh. Look at Blanchard swinging a, swing a miss. Iron going for the blackout on Trevor Blanchard. Oh! Blanchard is down, down and out as Blanchard. In comes Robert Saber. Robert Saber is going to take care of. Black Iron right now! Robert Saber up in the air! Oh my god! Oh! Look at Justin James climbing out of the casket! Black Iron now with Justin James! Oh, there's a blackout for Justin! Look 
it, Black Iron. He's ripping off the MOB shirt. Black Iron taking off the MOB shirt. Black Iron out at ringside here, right by the casket. He just opened the casket. He's got the MOB shirt. Look at his what shirt. Is this? He showed it to the crowd. Oh! Putting the MOB shirt into the casket. They closed the lid. That's the end of the MOB for Black Iron. That's what I believe in, Master J. Unbelievable. Black Iron throws the MOB shirt into the casket, slams the lid. Now he's walking away, leaving Justin James, Robert Saber, and Trevor Blanchard inside the ring. No decision at this point in this casket match, but it looks like Black Iron has made a decision of his own. It's R.I.P. M.O.B. Good night, Black Iron. It's over due to Black Iron forfeiting your winner, Justin James. Well, referee's decision is final, and your referee, Trevor Blanchard, giving the decision via forfeit to Justin James. Black Iron choosing to lead the MOB, but now he is officially gone as a result as a result of this casket match. There you have it. Black Iron throws the t-shirt into the casket, slams the lid, don't want no more part of the MOB, and nobody else does either, and everybody's just sick of it. They're done. They're history. Indeed, Mr. Riccolo. Black Iron slamming the lid on the MOB t-shirt. It was supposed to be one of the men, one of the two combatants in the matchup getting closed into the casket, but Black Iron pretty much in effect, leaving the outfit on his own, leaving the MOB, and as I stated that night, it was indeed R.I.P. MOB, as Black Iron kind of set the tone for the evening as, a, as far as what was to come later on when the MOB was officially put to rest at Russell. The MOB, the Masters of Brutality, are no mas. Pum. Indeed, Riccolo. Crazy night at Russell Rage, as we stated. Russell Rage 7 is available on home video the entire event, including that unbelievable tables, ladders, and chairs steel cage match between Jimmy Blaze and Chris Cairo, the return of Physical Fascination Brandon Bishop, and a whole lot more available on the home video release the entire event of POW Russell Rage 7. Check it out and check us out when we return with brand new episodes of POW Inside the Ropes. In early January, the first Monday of January, we are back with new episodes of Inside the Ropes. But we want to thank don't our... don't forget January 2nd, Fox Lake, Master January 2nd, Fox yeah. Lake, our first new show of the year. So a big hello to our fans in Illinois. A hello to our fans in the Dubuque, Iowa area, whom we have not seen for quite some time. Hopefully we'll be back your way very soon. But keep checking us out on TV, folks, because we are with you every week here from Purely Obsessed Wrestling World. For, so, for all our fans nationwide, on YouTube, everywhere else, happy holidays from POW Entertainment. I am Mr. Riccolo. I am Master J. Merry Christmas. Good night, everybody.